Talking about the military and technological advancements, the USA has always stood first. And no surprise, when it comes to the largest aircraft carrier in the world, announced in 2017, this aircraft carrier is called USS Gerald R. Ford, after Gerald Ford, the 38th president of the country. The colossal carrier beats any previous technology and can house 75 aircrafts in it. The carrier stands at a staggering 134 feet and has 25 total decks but surprisingly does not have a urinal. That's why today we have decided to talk about what's inside the world's largest aircraft carrier. But before we get started, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more interesting videos like this one. And having said that, let's get into the video. The gargantuan USS Gerald R. Ford took about eight years to build, many more years to test, still under observation, and has not been fully cleared to set sail. The massive size of the ship allows 75 aircraft to be loaded into the carrier at once, and at its maximum capacity, the carrier will be able to support 100,000 tons of weight on it. The construction of the giant ship started in 2008, and since then, an estimated $13 billion have been spent on the entire mission, including the research and construction cost. This carrier is an upgrade on the Nimitz class, which was once the most significant aircraft carrier. Massive improvements have been made in the Gerald Ford, which outclasses the Nimitz class. Gerald R. Ford is equipped with an AN-SPY-3 and AN-SPY-4 active electronically scanned array multifunctional radar. An upgrade to the Nimitz class, the carrier also has an island shorter in length and 20 feet taller than that of the Nimitz class. It has been set 140 feet farther apart and 3 feet closer to the edge of the ship. Another massive improvement in this carrier is the technology to launch the aircraft. Unlike the previous carrier, it does not rely entirely on steam to launch the plane. It makes use of electromagnets to launch all the carrier aircraft. This innovation eliminates the traditional requirement to regenerate and store steam and frees up many areas in the local storage below the deck. Gerald R. Ford can accomplish 25% more aircraft launches per day than the Nimitz class and would need 25% fewer crew members due to technological progresses. Despite the initial cost being so high, the Navy believes and estimates that the carrier will help save the U.S. Army over $4 billion over 50 years. Now, you may be wondering, what powers this super heavy giant of a ship? Two nuclear reactors are used to power the ship, and when fully loaded, it can weigh much more than a 100,000 ton, which makes it the largest warship ever created. The construction was completed in 2017, and the ship was commissioned in 2017 by President Donald Trump. However, Gerald R. Ford died during the ship's construction and couldn't see its first commencement and departure. The ship's primary purpose is to allow the landing and takeoff of aircraft, and Gerald R. Ford has a massive deck that serves as the runway for the aircraft. A vast hangar is brought down inside the giant ship to rest when they are not being used. The hangar also contains a tremendous amount of arsenal and other weaponry including missiles and bombs. There are also special lifts made in the hangar, which makes the transportation of the weapons to the aircraft where it is ready to be armed. Gerald R. Ford's deck is the longest of any aircraft carrier ever designed and has 1,100 feet. Despite this, pilots often face great troubles while landing or taking off. Also, when taking into account the massive overhang drop-off in the ocean, the ship has a technologically advanced control system with several supercomputers that assist in arranging the aircraft on the deck. The all-important electromagnetic launch system used by the ship helps significantly in launching the aircraft and takes very minimal space compared to the previous techniques. It also requires less maintenance and can be powered easily. These technological advancements were the main reason behind the ship's delay. Still, the Navy veterans are very confident and proud of the ship they have built, and Chief of Naval Operations Admiral Jonathan Greenard called the ship a technological marvel. Alongside carrying many aircraft, there have been 40 fueling stations deployed on the ship, which will help the aircraft get back off the deck. The ship takes care of the safety concerns. 
Chutes are provided on the side of the deck to offload any weapons that might be misfired. This has been done to make sure drastic accidents do not occur, like the one in 1960, which caused over a hundred deaths due to a massive fire aboard the USS Forrestal. Alongside carrying many aircraft arsenals, the ship needs to be equipped with various weapons to survive. For this reason, the ship contains numerous Sea Sparrows, which are short-range anti-aircraft systems. Alongside other RAM weapons, the ship is loaded enough to save itself from any attack. Not to forget, the ship is for carrying weapons and the living space for thousands of people inside. Gerald R. Ford has been designed to ensure comfort and luxury for the inhabitants. With improved air conditioning facilities, a proper gym and sports facilities, and a much more compact living space, the carrier is a lovely place to live in. Moreover, there have been USB ports for charging installed and much more shorter queues to get food. For entertainment, flat screen TVs have been installed in the berths and shared spaces. Also, the ship is a modern invention and contains gender neutral washrooms. The ship is mainly loaded with men and there are no urinals in it. The reason is to make it more flexible and not to allocate space for just a single gender. Currently, the ship has been facing a launch failure after every 181 attempts, and this is a big concern as the estimated number is supposed to be 4,166. Therefore, plenty of work and testing has to be done, and the technical department might make some changes to the design and techniques of the aircraft carrier. However, we are expected to see the first official deployment of the ship in 2023. Well, that brings us to the end of our video. Comment right below what you think of this massive ship, and would you like to travel in one? Before going anywhere, do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more thrilling videos like this one. Until the following video, stay tuned!